welcome to Fusion 360 Tips. In this video, we're going to be going over our press pull and our modify tab. We're going to begin our modify tab tools, as you can see, and today is a press pull. Now, what is a press pull and how do you use it? So let's say you have a solid object already in your workspace and you need to resize it or make it bigger. Let's say you have a cylinder with a hole uh, drilled into it and you don't want to really go in and mess with editing your feature well you can use a press pull so we'll go ahead and use the Q hotkey for our press pull and we will select a face that we want to make larger or smaller so for this instance we will click the inside of our hole here as you see this arrow comes into play and we can actually make this hole smaller or if our hole was this big we can make it larger so once we specify our size and hit OK and now it will stay is that size. We'll go to the outside part here. Let's say this is too thick. Let's say we want to uh, click on our face here and we want to make it smaller. We'd do the same thing. We would bring it in and we would make it smaller. And then you can hit OK. And now you have an updated size at which you wish to have a specified size. We will go to another body we have here and let's say you have a curved surface uh, solid right here and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit Q for our uh, press pull and we will highlight this face. So let's say we want to make it a little bit longer. So what's nice about the press pull is when you make it longer it continues I guess laterally in this direction and it begins to make it longer and taller. You can also make it shorter as well. And you can also do these faces where it goes uh, outward. As you can see, the square will come together and then it'll be begin to cross itself and go out and it kind of gets a little strange. But you can in fact uh, modify these things to your specifications if you wish. You can resize them. And so it's a nice little feature. So let's say that you do know about tolerancing and making things fit together. As you know, you will have to make the threads a little smaller to fit through a threaded hole. So how would you go about shrinking these once you have the threads on here? Well, you could use a, a press pull. What you would do is you highlight your press pull and you would select the face at which you want to shrink. So we'd highlight this one. You can specify how much you want to bring it in by. So let's do, uh, we'll do a 0 0.08, a negative 0 0.08, negative 0 0.08, and it will shrink as you see, it just moved in. You can also do the same thing on the bottom threads here. So we'll go ahead and highlight our press pull highlight it here we will do another negative 0.08 and you will see it shrink once it registers there it goes you can kind of see it move a little bit now you've kind of made it a little shorter so that those pieces can fit together if you know how to tolerance which i do not you can also select this face with your press pull and you can uh, bring this in to negative 0.1 it'll highlight and boom you have now made these threads on this bolt or whatever have you to be the right size and it will keep it and it will 3d print that way so these are some of the uses that you could use a press pull for there are many more uses we'll probably go into when we're actually making things but that is basically the gist of how a press pull works and that ends this video we will be moving on to the next ones thanks guys for watching hope to see you in the next video if these videos are helpful be sure to like share comment subscribe hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching until next time stay creative